Okay, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker Screen Acres. Today is the 24th of October, 2017, and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's, uh, it's, it's more like October than it was the last time I came to you on this. Last time I came to you on this uh, subject was about the event that's going to happen here on the 28th, and this is uh, a meet and greet with Senator Kolbeck. Senator Kolbeck would like to be our next governor of the state of Michigan. And uh, this meet and greet, the purpose of this is so we can uh, uh, check him out and see what he's all about. Um, there's lots of stories around, but there's so much disinformation, it's really hard to know. Uh, so we want him in front of us and we want to be able to talk with him and look into his face and see what this is about. I think now more than any time in my life, <clears throat> I think it's important that we all get involved in our process of governance. Um, if we don't, we can't expect um, others to do it for us. So we need to do this. We need to be involved. Uh, the last video that I made, somebody got into it and said that the event was canceled, and that went far and wide, right? And I had lots and lots of people calling me about that. And then I had to leave for the weekend. I was doing a hog processing uh, class up in the UP, which I do every year, me and Joe. And so I had a lot of time to think about it. And uh, it irritated me a little bit at first. But now that I think about it, there's an example. Uh, in my last video, I said that we need to be able to vet candidates. We need to know who they are, vet them. How are we going to do that? And I said, it's easy for me. It's easy for me because I'm a constitutionalist. So questions that I would present to a candidate would garner responses that then I can judge whether or not they square with my constitution, with my Bill of Rights, mine. And it'd be very easy for me to see if at least a candidate is putting on a good show of being a constitutionalist. Then there's other things to look at. But for some reason, that sword, that broad sword of the Constitution, which cuts both ways, bothered somebody to the point where they went in and they hacked the uh, announcement and said that the event here was canceled. Cool. Cool. When you're up over the target zone, that's when you're going to take the flak, right? So we're going to have that event. I'm going to welcome people onto the farm at 11. The senator won't be here until probably quarter 12. And then I'm going to feed you. We're going to roast a pig, a nice mangalitsa, nice small one, uh, well, medium size. Um, so you get to try the mangalitsa in all its glory. The barbecue is not the best place to prepare a mangalitsa, but it's good. And I think everybody will enjoy it. And we'll have all the, the fixings and all that stuff. I'm going to check with the campaign today and see if they want to get a tent out here. Because um, it's supposed to rain. But, you know, the people who have fought and bled and died to preserve our Constitution, my Constitution, they did that in all weather. Uh, it may be raining here Saturday and it may be a little cool. Deal with it. Because whether this is our guy or not, we need to start this conversation. We need to start the conversation about vetting our next governor per our Constitution. And if that hasn't sunken in yet to you, um, please download the Bill of Rights, the U.S. Constitution, and read through that. And if you have a problem with any one of those 10 uh, guarantees of your freedom, if you have a problem with that, then this is probably not where you ought to be. You know, there are other countries where they, they don't have that. Um, but this is what has made America the great country that it is. Uh, the other candidate, Republican candidate for <clears throat> governor, is going around saying that he's going to bring jobs back to Michigan. Why did they leave in the first place, right? They left in the first place because you won't uphold your oath of office. And it enabled uh, 
state regulators to put people out of business and to make the climate for business so poor that people pulled stakes on their tents and left. Now you're telling me that you're going to change that with just your policies or are you going to stick to your oath of office and protect and defend the Constitution of the United States? That's, that's the contract that you make as a governor when you're sworn in. When you're sworn in, you're not sworn in to bring jobs back to Michigan. You're sworn in to protect and defend our constitutional rights from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And do we have enemies of our constitution, constitution domestically? You think? <laughs> I do. So let's start this conversation. Please be here the 28th. Bring a folding chair. Um, and uh, we may have some poor weather, but let's just deal with it. Let's deal with it. We won't be getting shot at at least. And we'll start the conversation here. And it's Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Remember, anyone can farm.